those that are able, please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with a playing of the National Anthem. Tonight's National Anthem being performed by RHS Band under the direction of Ms. Benez. Again, welcome to Rochester High School for the CRC matchup between the Mechanical Braves and your Rochester Zebras. Time now for the starting lineups. First for the Mechanical Braves. At one guard, number five, A.J. Kelly. At the other guard, number 45, Caden Miller. At one forward, number 12, Ethan Zeiser. At a second forward, number 25, Josiah Ball. And the third forward tonight for the Braves will be number 35, Oakley Racer. The volleyball coach by John Burris, assisted by Wyatt Hughes and Mike Kennedy. And now for your Rochester Seniors. And one guard, a 5'8 junior, number two, Drew Bowers. And the other guard, a 6' junior, number 20, Owen Prater. And one forward, a 16' junior, number 11, Tanner Reynolds. And a second forward, a 6' sophomore, number 24, Carson Pollock. And a third forward, a 6' sophomore, number 30, Jonas Kaiser. Rochester College by Rob Malco, assisted by Luke Smith, Rex Reinhold, and Sean Kelly. Tonight's officials, Jeff Ward, Zach Slima, and Matt Casey. Yeah, he, uh, and, and I know he, uh, Coach Burris has tremendous respect for Bill Patrick. He, in fact, he worked in the um, Akron uh, I want to say Akron was with Mentone Middle School. He coached middle school ball, and that when under, when Bill Patrick kind of ran the whole uh, feeder system at Valley back in the late 90s. And, of course, uh, Coach Burris has been in this, the conference for a long time himself. Took over at North Miami in 1999, so 25 years in the conference. From Tip North, off. From North Miami to Southwood to Conoqua. Tip off going to be brought to you by Farm Credit Mid America, securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. It's controlled by the Maconaqua Braves. Zebras in their home white, Braves in their uh, road blue. They have it now over to 45. That's Miller. Miller has the basketball. Now back up top to bring it to Ball. Ball has it top to key. Now in the left wing, Josiah Ball with the basketball. Looking, goes around a couple of screens into the paint, loses it, it goes out of bounds. It's going to be last touch by the Zebras. Coach Malco thought uh, Ball just lost it. I can't blame him. I thought he did, too. Yeah, it, it looked like it was knocked out of his hand, and then, then he touched it. But, yeah, uh, Miller Zebras come in kind of very aggressive, kind of a run and jump type of defense. Zeiser with a 10-footer on the way. No good. Quickly, here is the Zebras with the rebound. Bowers with the basketball. He's going to be guarded by Miller. They get it over to Prater. Prater over the top to Bowers. Brock in the, or drew into the main, up and good for Kaiser. Jonas Kaiser getting the first two of the game as it's a nice cut underneath. Bowers found him. Zebras lead two to nothing. 
Here's a steal by Rochester. Can they control it? No, they can't control it. And it goes out of bounds now to McConaughey. Good hustle that time by the Zebras as uh, Tanner Reinertz tries to save it from going out of bounds. And unfortunately, nobody in the backcourt, and it just goes to the other side. Yeah, that was a tough break. That was actually a great hustle by Tanner. Here's a steal by Reinertz. So the inbounds pass by Miller was arid. And now Pollock with the basketball. Pollock has it out to Bowers to Tanner Reiner, fakes the three, and then a foul going to be called on Miller as uh, he We're ran in to Tanner Reiner. So it's going to be Miller's first, team's first. One minute gone by exactly here in the first quarter. And Funny Kyle will quickly come in for Miller. 2 0 Zebras lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. All right, so Pollock. Kyle's in there after all. Hi, Bowers has it now to Owen Prater to Pollock. Pollock goes up off the back of the iron, no good. And quickly a rebound to McConaughey. Quickly down go to harder. Kelly. Got to go harder to the rim than that. Kelly has the basketball now to Josiah Ball. Ball into the paint, throws up a shot, no good, and a charge. <laughs> Taking the charge was Tanner Reinhertz. And Josiah Ball, Josiah Ball his picks up his second. first team second. I guess that's one way you slow him down. Tanner Reinhardt gets up a little slow. Dylan Hook will come in for him as uh, get him a drink of water, make sure uh, he's okay. 6.42, 2 nothing. Here comes some pressure in the backcourt now by McConaughey. There were about three or four different coaches at Rochester High School who held their breath right there. Here's Pollock with the basketball. Coach Carson. Heidi, the tennis coach, and Coach Good, the baseball coach. End of Kaiser. Kaiser with the basketball. Now to Prater. Prater, top to Bowers. Back to Prater. Top to Pollock. Corner shot on the way. In and out. No good. Prater with a rebound. Goes up off the glass and good. Oh, and Prater's got two, and the Zebras lead 4 0. Quickly up here's A.J. Kelly. Kelly double team. Now they're back off. Now they give it to Josiah Ball. Ball into the paint. Pull up jumper on the way. Rims out no good. Prater rips the rebound. He gives it up to Hook. Hook quickly ahead to Bowers. Bowers missed Kaiser. Now they get it to him down low. He's double teamed. Out to Prater. Three on the way for Owen Good. <laughs> Owen Prater's got three or five. And it's a seven nothing lead for the Zebras. Well, again, Owen might have more opportunities from the perimeter in this game. Pass over the top of Zeiser's head. He saves it and right into the hands of Kaiser. Kaiser with the basketball against A.J. Kelly. Now against Freddie Kyle. They kick it out. Here's three on the way for Bowers. No good. Dylan Hook with a rebound. Hook's pass knocked loose. Bowers picks it up. Head fakes. And it's going to be blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester underneath their own basket. Zebra's dominating the board so far. Reinhardt's back in and Pollock will sit down. 5.28 to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras lead 7-0. Bowers with an inbound. Bowers looking to get it in against the Kaiser. Kaiser into the corner. Cross-court pass over the top of Owen Prater, and it's a turnover on Rochester. Like Drew Bowers got caught staring at the play. He made the inbounds pass. He just stood yeah. there. And Jonas wanted to pass him the ball, but he obviously couldn't pass him the ball. He was standing out of bounds, so... It was a much riskier, much riskier pass than it had to be. So a little trap as they bring it across the time court. Time to get it to Ball. Ball loses it now in the hands of A.J. Kelly. Kelly gives it up. That is over to 35. Reaser into the ball in the paint. No good. Rebound hook. Dylan Hook has the basketball. Goes over the top to Prater. Prater ahead to Kaiser. And we get a travel on Owen Prater. And it'll be another turnover in Rochester, and McConaughey will have the ball at the half court. Yeah, it took a little extra hop before yep. he, I think somebody probably alerted him that there was an open teammate down court, and he just took yep. that extra bunny hop. This is, I think, this Cruz from Porter County, from the Valpo area. Here is right Reasoner, Reaser with the basketball. Reaser gives it up now to Zeiser. Now to Kelly. Kelly to Josiah Ball, and he loses it, but unfortunately right in the hand of Zeiser, and it's up good. That was a bad break. Zebras actually played pretty good defense there. McConaughey on the board finally. Five point lead for the Zebras, seven to two. A double team of Bowers. Bowers dribbles through it somehow. Now gets it off to Prater. Elbow jumper and he's gonna be fouled. And that's gonna be the third on McConaughey. And the first on Oakley Reaser. And that'll send Owen Prater who is five of the seven for Rochester to the line to shoot two. Owen Prater was wearing some Oakleys there <laughs> on his back for a brief second. 
shot on the way for Prater. And off the back iron, no good. 4.34 to go here in the opening quarter. Some, some Reese's pieces. Prater will have one more. Zebras have to shoot better from the foul line. Eight for 17 against right. OD. And I think they scored 86 points despite all that. The poor free throw shooting. Second free throw for Prater is in and out. No good. Ball with a quick rebound. Ahead to Kelly. Kelly with it. Top of the key. Kelly. Double team. Now he gets it off into the paint. Now they kick it back out. Now into the corner. Here's Reeser with it. Reeser fires up a 10-footer. No good. Good block out by Hook. He's got the rebound. Gives it up to Tanner. Reinert's with it at midcourt. Double team. Pass is stolen. Ahead to A.J. Kelly. Layup up and good. A.J. Kelly gets his first two of the game. It's 7-4. to four. To get it into Bowers. Now to Tanner. Reinert's. He'll light up a three. He's short off the front of the iron. No good. Ball with a rebound. Ball has it. Ball down the middle of the court. Gives it to Kelly down low. Kelly goes up. No good, but a foul coming on Tanner Reinertz. It's going to be his first team first. Oh, they called it on Prater. Oh. Shooting two from Mechanical Braves. I'm not sure how they got that on Prater. Tanner was the only one there, I thought. But they give it to Prater, and Kelly's free throw is good. One thing McConaughey does well is they compromise anybody, any ball handler who is not your best ball handler. And they, and they attacked Tanner Reinertz as soon as he crossed half court. And that led to a layup. Quickly ahead to Hook. Hook has it. His pass is tipped. Kelly with a steal. A.J. Kelly right to the hole. Layup up and no good. Tanner Reinertz with a rebound. Out to Prater. Ahead to Kaiser. Kaiser head fake up and good. Good head fake by Jonas Kaiser. He felt Reeser behind him. And the Zebras lead 9-6. to six. Half court trap put on now for the Zebras. They get it down to the timeline. Now down to Zeiser. Zeiser back up top. They swing it to the near side. Three on the way for Freddie Kyle. Off the mark, no good. Oh, <coughs> Kaiser was wide open again. There is the Prater with it. He gets it across the timeline. Prater into the corner to Reinert. Three on the way for Tanner off the mark. No good. Prater with a rebound back up and good. Owen Prater. 11 to 6. Zebras. Three rebounds for Prater already. Here's A.J. Kelly with the basketball. Kelly. Now over to Reeser. Down low they go to Zeiser. Zeiser loses it and Kaiser can't hold on to it. It's out of bounds to McConaughey. Robert, Robert Bonzo coming into the contest for the first time. He'll replace Dylan Hook. You heard Coach Mako say in the pregame he's going to get lots of guys in. He didn't necessarily need to wear everybody out tonight with potential three games next week. Miller back in and sitting down is Reeser. So McConaughey will have the basketball to inbound. Down low. McConaughey gambles for steals a lot. Powers gambled on that one and it paid off. A steal, layup, up and good to foul. Bowers with his first points of the night. He'll go to the free throw line to complete the three-point play, and that's the second on Miller. Team fourth of the quarter. Pollock back in. Prater will get a breather. And Bowers to the free throw line for one. With 2.46 to go here in the opening quarter, 13-6 to six, Zebras. Well, again, Drew's just instinct. And how many times has he had a steal like that? Yeah. His instincts... Free throws missed. Rebound comes away to McConaughey. They get it to Ball. Ball quickly down the floor. Ball into the layup. Up no good. Rebound back up. And no good, but a foul coming. And this one's going to be whistled well, on Tanner Reinhardt. His first, his team, first second. team second. And that will send Shooting two for the Braves. Fuddy Kyle Buddy to the line Kyle. to shoot two. Fuddy looking for his first points of the contest. First one short. Trader back in, Hook back in, sitting down will be Kaiser and Reinertz. 2.38 to go here in the first. Buddy Kyle has one more free throw. Big game in the TRC tonight with Wabash at Peru. If Wabash wins, they share the TRC with Manchester. If they lose, Manchester wins the TRC outright. Free throw good for Buddy Kyle. Stolen down low and Bucket good and a foul. Bucket was good by Kelly on the steal. Owen Prater is going to be whistled for his second foul, team a third. And now A.J. Kelly will go to the line to shoot one. K. 
Kelly, two for two so far. Make it three for three. Got seven of the 10. Three point lead for the Zebras, 13 to 10. Prater has the basketball, head to the hook. Hook gets it across the timeline. Now to Bowers, left side now to Pollock in the corner. Here's Bazo for three, good. Robert Bazo into the scoring column. 16-10 now, Zebra lead. Against McConaughey's defense, that corner three should be open. Kyle has it to Kelly, into the corner to Ball. Ball drives his paint, throws up a runner, up and good. How in the world do you stop that? It's his first points of the game, and it's 16 to 12. Pressure put on in the backcourt. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Bowers ahead to Pollock. Pollock over to Owen Prater. He head fakes, goes between two defenders, loses it, somehow gets it picked back up. Now back out to Prater. Owen into the paint. Owen, good zero step, and they're going to say he traveled. Turnover to Zebras. Minute 48 to go here in the first quarter. And McConaughey will have it. Kelly will bring it in. Down low, they go to Ball. Ball has it, now kicks it back out to Kyle. Kyle has it on the far side, now to Miller. Back up top to Kelly. Kelly to Footy Kyle. Kyle has the basketball down low, kicks it out. Here's three for Ball on the way. Off the mark, no good. Carson Pollock with a quick rebound. Ahead to Dylan Hook. Hook with it for the Zebras. Now top to Key. Bowers fakes, goes to the lane. Pass is deflected, picked up, thrown ahead to Kelly. Kelly layup up, and a foul on Bazo. Bazo is going to be whistled on the foul. I don't think this is going to be an intentional or a flagrant. Well, I think they're discussing it. They are going to discuss it. Yeah, I don't think it was. Bazo just trying to make a play. Basket did not count. Well, they are going to call it intentional. Coach Malco looking at the official. Can I get an explanation, he says. And so now, Bazo. So he gets the explanation. Didn't like it. But now A.J. Kelly will go to the line to shoot two more free throws in this quarter with a minute 16. Zebra's up four. So they'll shoot two free throws, and McConaughey will get the ball back. Oh, Kelly at the official blew the whistle as Kelly gets ready to shoot. Now they're discussing what's going on. More discussion. Nope, they're going to say it wasn't on the shot. Oh, maybe they were asking if the basket went in. Uh, it didn't go in at all anyway, did it? No, it didn't. no, I didn't think so. So Kelly has the free throw and misses it. He'll have one more. One more free throw coming. And I believe that Bowers is going to have blood on his jersey, so he'll have to get the jersey checked. Christina can clean that pretty quick. Kaiser and Reinerts back into the ball game. 116 to go as they're going to go ahead and bring who are they bring in. All right, Hook will come in and Prater will come out. All right, so we got five on the floor for Rochester. Bazo, Reiner, Kaiser, Holly, and Hook. And Drew Bowers is getting his uh, jersey taken care of by athletic trainer Christina Hughes. Let's see if um, Owen Prater will be benched for the rest of the half or if he'll come back in. He's got two. Minute 16, I'm going to guess probably not. We'll see. Into Fuddy Kyle as we get back into action. Ball with the basketball. Ball down to Kyle. Back up to Ball. Ball has it top of the key. Spin move. Now he brings it back out. Good defense by Carson Pollock. Ball with it into the paint. Ball. And they're going to whistle a foul before the shot. And it will be two shots for Josiah Ball. And that whistle is going to be on 30 Kaiser. His first. Team number five. 
So uh, Joe's Josiah Ball at the line, shooting two. So here goes Ball to the line. He's just got one field goal so far in the contest. Free throw, no good. He'll have one more. 16-13, it's still a three-point lead for the Zebras here in the first quarter on Jenny's insurance scoreboard. Ball with his second free throw. Ball, second one is good this time. He's got three points, and it's 16-14. Pressure put on, here's a steal by Ball. Ball against Pollock, goes up, and a blocking foul on Carson Pollock. Josiah Ball will go back to the line and shoot two more. And that's now seven turnovers on the Zebras. Zebra fans wanted to charge, but unfortunately, what Josiah did kind of sidestep him. The ball to the free throw line. That one is good. And he'll have another one. 16-15. This one could tie it up. Free throw on the way. It's good. Tie ball game at 16. Here's Carson Pollock with the basketball in the backcourt. Double team gets it to Reinerts. Reinerts will get across the timeline. Reinerts is going to be called for stepping out of bounds as Freddy Kyle kind of pushed him out. And now the Zebras are going to be back with 50 seconds to go playing on defense. Rochester going to more of a kind of a half court trap here. Over the top they go, kick it out to Ball. He'll fire a three on the way, no good. Rebound tipped by Ke Kelly out to Kyle, and there's another offensive foul on Josiah Ball. It's going to be his second. That one taken by Dylan Hook. So now Josiah Ball with 40 seconds to go in the opening quarter has two fouls as well. Bowers back in, Pollock will sit down. Kaiser will inbound. Pressure on the full court now by McConaughey. A lot on Drew Bowers' plate tonight. He's got a really good defender in Kelly on him. Kaiser throws it ahead to Reiner. It's over the top, and it's a turnover on the Zebras. Now nine turnovers on Rochester. And when the ball is not in Drew Bowers' hand, it is an adventure to get the ball up court. Now coming back in will be 35, Reeser, and Miller will sit down. 35.2 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 16-16, our score. I think Coach Bruce usually plays about seven. We'll see uh, Ellis in there later on. He's a the big ball. guy. Ball's down low, loses it, and last touch by Ball. Turnover McConaughey. Turnover number six for McConaughey. Zebras will have it. And Bowers will inbound it. Drew looking to get it in. Drew still looking. Zebras going to have to split the middle. There's Hook with it. Hook gets it to Tanner. Tanner will cross the timeline with 20 seconds. Now to Bowers. Bowers has it on the far side. Drew holds against Kelly. Drew now gets it into Kaiser in the paint. Kaiser up over the top, no good. Hook fights for the rebound. Dylan gets it back up and no good, but a foul coming. And that's gonna be a blue whistle on Reeser. That's gonna be his second. And it is. Reeser gets his second. And now Dylan Hook to the free throw line. For his first opportunity, it's in points. Free throw on the way is good for Dylan Hook. 17-16, Zebras lead. Hook has one more. It was a dangerous pass that Tanner Reiners threw to Bowers, but it got there somehow. And then was able to set the Zebras up and then a great effort by Hook on the boards. Second one's good by Hook as well. 18-16, design ball with the basketball. And there's a whistle, double dribble turnover McConaughey. Zebras will have it with 4.4 seconds to go. Chance at the double possession. And a steal by Kelly. Kelly with the steal and a foul before the shot. It's going to be on Kaiser, but that'll send A.J. Kelly back to the line for free throws with 2.2 to go. Kelly's already shot five free throws in this quarter alone. This will be six and seven. 2.2, A.J. Kelly and at the line. That's 10 turnovers and what about four of them are just on inbounds passes. Right. Kelly makes that one, 18-17. Opportunity to tie it here. And a crazy first quarter it's been and it could end in a tie. 
and it won't. But we're going to have a, a foul. We're going to call that against Bazo. They do Washington call it against Bazo. That's going to be his second. Bazo getting the explanation from the official. He says, I was blocking him out. Somebody got pushed on. So Kelly back for two more. And that one's good. I'm running out of room for his free throws. So Kelly's, that one's good for Kelly. With 1.8 seconds, we're tied at 18. An opportunity now for McConaughey to take the lead. And their first lead of the game goes 19-18. Bowers with the basketball, three-quarter court shot on the way, no good. At the end of one, it's the Braves 19, the Zebras 18 here on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. We come back the second quarter, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Zebra basketball to start the quarter, brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. They'll have it to get it in. Carson Pollock into Bowers in the backcourt. End of one, Peru leads wall badge 15-18. Here is Zebras with it. Bowers has the basketball. Bowers in the paint. Bowers throws up a shot, no good. Rebound comes to Prater. Prater amongst the trees. Now kick it back out. Three for Reiner. It's off the mark, no good. Pollock with a rebound to Bowers. Bowers shot, no good. Rebound to Ball. Ball quickly ahead. Kelly might have got a fingertip on the shot by Bowers. Head to Weezer. Came off his fingers funny. Ball throws up an awkward shot. Reiner's with a rebound. Here is Zebras with it. Reinerts to Bowers. Swings it to Pollock on the far side. Stolen again by Kelly. Kelly, left hand layup up and good. 13 now for Kelly. 21-18. Hook with the basketball. Into the paint, here's Prater. Prater, one dribble, kicks it out. 15 footer by Pollock off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Zeiser. Now it's off over to Ball. Into the corner to Kelly. Down low is going to be tipped out of bounds. It'll be still staying with McConaughey. Dylan Hook able to tip it out. 30-second timeout. Zebras, 6.47 to go here in the second. 21-18 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Part of it is that the game now is really Kelly versus Bowers. Yeah. Bowers has got to... Because I think they're throwing passes that they, they, can, they can get away with, but they can't because of Kelly's quickness. Ball misses a shot down low, gets his own rebound, goes back up, and a foul coming against the Zebras. And Josiah Ball will go back to the free throw line. And that's going to be Drew Bowers first, team first of the quarter. And Josiah Ball, who only had five points in the first quarter, starts out back at the free throw line. Ball, free throw on the way. Misses that one. He'll have one more. Ball to the free throw line. Second one is good. Josiah Ball. 22-18. There's Bowers with it. Bowers goes over to Pollock. Pollock with the basketball. Now to Reinert in the corner. Three on the way for Tanner off the mark. Prater with the rebound. Prater, head fake, gets two McConaughey Braves off his feet and puts it in the hole. Owen Prayer with two more. 22-20, quickly down, ball with it. Ball, spin move at the block, short on the shot. Rebound comes away to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball. Off to Pollock, 10-footer on the way, no good. Rebound's loose, now picked up by Zeiser. Zeiser has it. Almost a great play by Owen Prater. Zeiser gives it up to Kelly. AJ, three on the way, rims in and out, no good. And last touch by Zeiser, it'll be a Zebra basketball. 5.58 to go, 22-20, two-point lead. Bowers will look to get it in. Bowers gets it into Pollock, gets it back to Bowers. Bowers, top the key. Bowers quickly ahead to Tanner. Tanner goes down low to Dylan Hook, has it blocked. Yeah, that was clean. Buddy Kaya with a block. Now here's Zeiser with the basketball. Zeiser to Kelly. Kelly into the paint, kicks it back out. Josiah Ball, no, excuse me. That is Zeiser, Reiser, Reiser, about three too many steps. Kaiser and Jack Reffitt in for the first time. Sitting down will be Prater and Reinerts. 
22-20, 5.38 to go here in the first half. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. We're gonna track beat for sure. They get it into Pollock. Pollock has the basketball over the top to Kaiser. Kaiser catches it to Dylan Hook, fakes it, goes up off the glass, good. <laughs> Zebras again doing a great job with the ball fake. Got McConaughey off the feet. And a technical foul has been assessed to the Zebra bench. That's the first time Rob Malco has been called for a technical in a while, probably the first time this season. The referee was standing right in front of him and he just turned around. So now shooting the free throws will be Josiah Ball. Usually there's a warning. Yeah. They give a bench warning, but not tonight. Free throw on the way for Josiah Ball. Short. Second free throw on the way. And that one's good. So it'll be back out of bounds to uh, McConaughey. Coming in for the first time will be number 11, Braxton Burner. Burner doesn't get a lot of playing time. I'm curious we haven't seen Ellis yet. I'm curious to know if there's a reason why. In fact, uh, is that him the MJ Ellis the will not play. No, he's, yeah, he's sick. Okay. Yep, doctor orders not to play. In the ball, ball into the paint, pulls up jumper, good. Goes I with just his second field goal. And now it's tipped out of bounds. It'll be Zebra basketball. And again, Jonas Kaiser has two fouls. He had to be really careful yeah. there. Kaiser has two, Prater has two. Four Rochester, Prater on the bench. Also Bazo on the bench with two. Kaiser has the basketball. Kaiser up to court. Now gives it up to Pollock. Carson into uh, Hook. Hook goes up. No good, but a foul coming. And I believe it's going to be whistled against Zeiser. Nope, we're going to give it to Fuddy Kyle. His first, team first of the quarter. So Dylan Hook back to the line to shoot free throws. Dylan's got four points on the night, a three-point lead right now for McConaughey on 25-22. Dylan Hook with another make. That will bring in Tanner Reinerts, and he's, he'll come in for Hook. If, so if he makes this one, Tanner will be back in. Free throw on the way. Hook makes another. Hook now with six points. 25-24. Reinerts comes in and sitting down will be Dylan Hook. Dylan Hook four for four from the foul line. That's great to see. He is. Now if he misses, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him you jinxed him. <laughs> Here's McConaughey with the basketball. Fuddy Kyle it's with not, it. It's not an announcer's jinx, it's an announcer's blessing. Burner with it. Now back up top to Kelly. Kelly back over to Kyle. Kyle trying to get it into ball. They get it into him, but he brings it back out. 15 footer for Josiah Ball. Good. You don't want to get him on fire. And now it's a three point lead. Powers with the basketball to Kaiser. Kaiser fakes, goes up, partially blocked. Picked up by Josiah Ball. Ball gives it up to Kelly. Kelly has it swatted out of the way by Tanner Reiner to the out of bounds. Nice block by Tanner. Battle of blocks there. Zeiser on one end, Reinerts on the other. Kyle, buddy Kyle gets it into AJ Kelly. Top of the key. Now they swing it on over. Kick it back out to Josiah. Foot was on the line, two ball on the way, no good. Ball's tipped around. And Refit saves it. And somehow Drew Bowers ends up with it. It slipped through Kelly's hands. Now into the corner. Here's Pollock. Pollock has the basketball. To Reinerts. Reinerts down low. He kicks it back out. Now there's Bowers into the paint. Bowers layup up and good. Drew Bowers with his first two. 27-26, a one-point McConaughey lead. Kyle with the basketball. Fuddy crosses the timeline, gives it over to Zeiser. Zeiser has it. Now back up to Fuddy Kyle. He's double teamed. They go into ball. Ball around a defender. Blocked by Reiner. It's out of bounds. And it'll be McConaughey basketball. Grant Clark will come in, and Dylan Hook sitting down will be Ruffett and Pollock. 
3.31 to go, 27-26. Runners just step out of bounds, but that was a great effort. And a two ball for Zeiser. From the inbounds. 29-26. Reinerts has it. Coast to coast. Kicks it back out to Kaiser. Now to Reinerts. Three on the way. Off the mark. No good. Battle for the rebound. It's still loose. And Clark comes away with it. Gets it out to Tanner. Now to Bowers. Now back into Clark. Grant Clark is going to be fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. And if that's on ball, that's three. It is. Josiah Ball picks up his third. Team second. And Grant Clark to the line to shoot free throws. Well, I thought Tuesday was a big step forward for Grant Clark. And again, I, I think this is the type of game where he can actually do well here. Yeah. And it started with him digging for a loose ball. Free throws good. 29-27. Clark's got one more. It seems to me that McConaughey has been shooting a lot of long twos. Yeah. More, more so than normal. And I, I would be curious to know what Coach Burris thinks of his team's shot selection so far. Free throws on the way for Clark is good again. Grant Clark with his first two points of the night. One point, McConaughey lead, 29-28 with three minutes to go. Kyle with the basketball. Funny leaves it out top for A.J. Kelly. Kelly switches direction, loses the basketball. Last touch by Bowers. And now, along with one two to go out and meet by seven, please. So now, there's three on the way by Ball, no good. Bowers with the rebound. Like Grant Clark just fell asleep defensively and let the leading scorer in the state with a wide open three. Here's Reinerts down low. He kicks it out to Kaiser in the corner. Three ball, good for Jonas. Kaiser's got seven. Nice pass, Reinerts. 31-29, Zebra lead down. Here's in the corner's ball. Now they get it back to Ball in the corner. Ball penetrates. Ball loses it. It's going to be out of bounds, and it's going to be Zebra basketball. Good defense by Dylan Hook. That was a yeah. good. It was a good no call. Dylan got ran and over. Just to check it on him. Yeah, but it was not a charge. It was not a block either. It was just a good no call, I think. And um, Burner goes out, and Cade Miller back in. 31-29, 2.23 to go. Man pressure in the backcourt. The now Dylan Hook just is moving so well on both ends of the court. Bowers with the basketball, has it stripped from behind. Kaiser able to pick it up. Gets it to Clark, back to Bowers. Drew with the basketball. Drew over in the right or left wing. They swing it to Reinerts. Three on the way for Tanner, good. Tanner Reinerts with his first points of the night. 34-29, Zebra's up by five. Well, Drew Bowers has made the adjustment with Kelly on him. He's, he's really taken care of the ball the last couple times he's had it in his hands. And McConaughey's closeouts have not been as good the last couple of possessions. Zeiser with a basketball in the corner for two. Zeiser, 34-31. I get it back to Bowers now on the inbounds. Bowers double team gets it to Jonas. Kaiser ahead to Reinert. Reinert, he'll fire a three from the left side. Good. He checked. He checked. 37-31, a minute and a half to go in the quarter. Zebra's up by six. He checked, he had an open teammate under the basket. Tanner said, no, there's Ball with the basketball. Up against Reinerts, no good. Reinerts wanted a charge and no call at all. And now it'll be out of bounds on the miss. Last touch by the Zebras. The official was looking back at the bench. He so now Reinerts will clean up his own sweat. He might have heard something. One minute, 20 seconds to go here before halftime. 37-31, our score on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Yeah, that he was just asking for a towel. But, you know, again, I thought McConaughey had really been closing out well on Rochester's three-point shooters early in the game, but not these last three possessions with Kaiser hitting one from deep and Reiner hitting a pair. Kelly gets it into Zeiser. Zeiser, short. Rebound comes away to Dylan Hook. Hook with the basketball. He's double-teamed, gets it up to Tanner. Tanner, down the court to Clark. Clark. Put it on the floor and unfortunately loses it. He was kind of in mid-air to try to make himself control it. He tried to put it on the ground and he kicked it out of bounds. Turnover Zebras. Minute seven. Zebras will pick up three-quarter court. Kelly with it against Hook. 60 seconds to go. Now they get it over. Stolen. Kate Miller's pass stolen by Reinerts. Reinerts fakes the pass, goes up, no good, but a blocking foul coming and Reinerts will get in line to shoot two. 
That foul coming against A.J. Kelly. And now Tanner Reinhardt's to the free throw line for the first time tonight. With 54.8 seconds to go, 37-31. Good job by Tanner staying under control and swerving around the defender. That was absolutely a block. Tanner takes his time. He'll have two free throws here. First one's on the way for Reinhardt. It's good. We'll have another one. Seven points in this quarter for Tanner. Ten, again, Rochester had ten turnovers in the first quarter. Only two turnovers this quarter against a team that goes after you like this defensively. That's, that's good. Coach Malco will take that. Pollock in. Kaiser sits down. Jack Reffitt will get ready to check in on the made free throw. And for what it's worth, the Zebras have kind of grabbed the momentum since the technical. Tanner with it. 39-31. Tanner will sit down. Ruffitt in. And we get a timeout. McConaughey. It's a 30-second timeout with 54.8 seconds to go. Zebras up on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. 39-31. Malco got the technical. Sometimes you got to do that to fire up your team. I don't think Coach Ed did it on purpose, but sometimes that's just how it works out. And for what it's worth, that was at the 5.25 mark. We're now at 54.8 seconds to go, and Rochester's not been called for a foul since the technical. And here is Kelly with the basketball. 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now to Ball. Ball, who has three fouls, stolen by Clark. Clark gets it up to Hook. Dylan with the basketball, goes to the rack, head fake, goes up short, and a foul coming. And I believe that might be on A.J. Kelly. And if it is, it's his second. And it is on A.J. Kelly, his second. Team fourth. Now Dylan Hook with six points tonight. Back to the free throw line. 39.1 second to go. Hook for two at the free throw line. It's just so much fun to watch Dylan Hook play with confidence like this. First one is good. 40-31. Nine-point lead. Biggest of the game for Rochester. It just seemed like yesterday I showed up to practice in November and there Dylan was there. I didn't know didn't even know he'd come out for the team. Second free throw short. Battle for the rebound. And Dylan Hook gets his own. Gets it to Clark. Now to Bowers. Bowers has it with 30 seconds. Down low to Clark. Up and good. Great pass by Bowers. 42-31. Quickly downs Josiah Ball and all, or almost stolen again by Clark, and he'll pick up a foul. And Not a bad foul at all. Nope, you got plenty to give here. So Grant Clark will pick up his first, team second. Okay, now what kind of inbounds play does McConaughey have in mind here? Probably, I would imagine the lob to ball, Josiah Ball is probably first among those. So now they're going to put... Will they do a cross screen to Zeiser? Kyle will inbound, stolen by Bowers. Bowers pulls up, five-footer off the glass, good. Drew Bowers, 44-31, 15 seconds. Here's Kelly with it, to Ball. Ball, top of the key with 10. Josiah Ball kicks it out to Kyle. Funny Kyle, floater on the way, no good. And Grant Clark gonna pick up his second foul. And that'll send Super Funny Kyle to the line. Grant Clark, his second. Team four, shooting two for the Braves. But again, the Zebras have been running McConaughey off a three-point line, and McConaughey just winds up shooting a lot of long twos. And again, you'll take that. Free throw is good for Footy Kyle. He's got two points. 44-32. And I think that's that's the second big headline. Obviously, the big headline is Josiah Ball's three fouls. Second free throw is missed. Clark with another rebound. Four seconds. Ahead to Pollock. Pollock throws it ahead to Reffick, gets it off, no good, it's blocked out of bounds, and that'll do it for the first half. Zebras, 44, McConaughey Braves, 32 at halftime on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. More after this, when we come back to your halftime show, brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. Each class will be the most meaningful in my future. The most memorable basketball moment. Well, my notes are just a mess here. 20 minutes before the game, and we can come together and execute it. Other activities flowing to the ball with is president of NHS, editor of the yearbook, and treasurer of student council. Chloe's plans after graduating high schools to study languages, maybe study abroad, and perhaps join the Peace Corps. I believe Ladies and gentlemen, Chloe Nichols. Follow your dreams. Up next 
Emma Grace Jarrett. Emma Grace is the granddaughter of Tom and Ellen Fry. Her favorite subject is band. That's what I'm good at, and I've always been a huge comfort with me. Music is just something I can easily pick up and love. Her favorite teacher, Miss Mendez. You make it easier to understand rhythms and have always helped me when I struggle with parts of music. Her favorite band moment, being able to play different types of saxophones, meeting great people, and becoming friends with them. Her plans after high school include taking a year off, but still deciding into college. But I think I'll go into music and keep playing the saxophone. Ladies and gentlemen, Emma Grace Jarrett. Our next band senior is Leah Rensberger. Leah is the daughter of Sean and Jared Rensberger. Her favorite subject is art because I get to be creative and work on different projects. Her most memorable high school moment is going to the Art Museum in Indianapolis and the John Williams concert. When Leah graduates, she's undecided with future grand plans at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, Leah Rensberger. Next up, Dylan Fishback. Dylan is the son of Stacy and Brian Rock. His favorite teacher is Mr. Street because of his unique teaching style, which made class very entertaining and made math much easier. His favorite memory is going to the trying math competition his junior year. After graduating high school, Dylan plans to attend IU Bloomington and study astronomy and astrophysics. Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Fishback. And our final senior, Haley Coleman. She is the daughter of Jim and Connie Coleman. Her favorite teacher is Miss Mendez because I love her personality and connection with the students. Her favorite color guard moment is becoming the first Rochester color guard captain and teaching and learning Hey Baby. After graduation, Haley plans to go to college and do a study abroad program in South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, Haley Coleman. One more round of applause for all five of our seniors. Original five back on the, f nope, they're gonna bring Kyle. They're gonna bring Kyle in. So it's Fuddy Kyle, AJ Kelly, uh, 35 is Reezer, and then Ball and 12 Kaiser. So looks like Miller will sit and uh, eight Fuddy Kyle will start. Original five for Rochester in uh, Bowers, Reinerts, Prater, Pollock, Kaiser. McConaughey ball to start, brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. Down low they go, and a turnaround jumper on the way. No good, and Reinerts is going to be whistled for a quick foul, and it's going to be Tanner's second, team first of the quarter, and that will send Ethan Zeiser to the line to shoot two. And then you saw the adjustment for Coach Burris to flash yeah. ball into the lane and have him be kind of a playmaker. Free throws good. 44-33, 11-point zero lead. Zeiser will have one more. Free throw is uh, way short off the front of the iron. Kaiser got it. Now ahead to Bowers. Bowers, pull up jumper, good. Drew Bowers now with eight. And it's a 46-33 lead. That was Here. kind of a, that was almost a no, 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 yes. Yeah. In fact, it kind of was. Reezer has it to Kyle, now to uh, Zeiser underneath, good. That was a heck of a pass by Fuddy Kyle. I don't know how that got there. Here's Pollock with it. Now thrown in the backcourt, thrown ahead to Prater. Prater gives it off to Carson. Carson loses it, contains it somehow, and now it's going to be kicked. Zebras get fortunate there as that was kicked by McConaughey. It'll stay now with Rochester. Again, what you like about Carson Pollock is that he plays off two feet and he doesn't panic with the ball in his hands. Pollock will inbound it. They're going to be knocked out of bounds by okay, McConaughey. That was, the, that was the announcer, Jinx. Yeah, your fault. I'm going to tell him afterwards. It'll be inbounded now to from Pollock right at midcourt. Pollock looking to get it in. Gets it in to Tanner, and he's double teamed. And now we're going to have a foul. 
Funny Kyle got away with the uh, push in the back there, or did he get away? No, I don't think he did, as the official has his hand yeah, in the air. And yeah. We're going to call a foul, and it's going to be on 20. Funny Kyle. Funny Kyle. Kyle picks up his second, team first of the quarter. Be out of bounds to Rochester right in front of their own bench. Peru is now down to Wabash 38-33 with two minutes, 30 seconds to go in the third. They did lead at halftime. Here is three for Bowers. Good. <laughs> Bowers with five already in this quarter. 49-35. Got 11 in the game. Quickly down low, though. They don't get back. And Zeiser, he's got five in this quarter. 49-37. Bowers has it still in the backcourt. Going to have to hurry and get it across. Bowers finally gets a screen by Prater and gets it to Pollock. Now to Kaiser. Kaiser over the top to Bowers. Over to Reinerts. Fakes a three. Now into the corner to Prater. Prater quickly double teamed. And Fuddy Kyle going to pick up his third foul. Team number two of the quarter. So the Zebras will have it on the far side right in front of the bench. Tanner Reinerts got a fixy shoe here. 6.35 to go here in the third, 49-37. Rochester leads by 12 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Again, we'll be back in action again Tuesday night as the Zebras travel to Lewis Cass to take on the Wallbanks Apaches, who all of a sudden now are starting to pull away from Peru. Here's Pollock with the inbound. Carson looking to get it in, gets it to Bowers in the backcourt. Bowers has it against A.J. Kelly. Bowers now gives it up to Kaiser. Still not across. Now they get it across the timeline. Tanner Reinerts, he'll fire a three from the left wing off the back of the iron. No good. Bowers with the rebound. Bowers has it against Kelly. One dribble. Now it hits it to Tanner. Tanner loses it. Picked up by Prater to Pollock in the corner. Pollock to Bowers. They go down low and intercepted by Reiser. Now down low, Kelly. And he's going to be fouled from behind. And the trailing official calls it. Thought the front official had it knocked out of bounds. And a foul coming on Owen Prater. It's going to be his third, team second. So with 6.06 to go, it's A.J. Kelly back to the free throw line. A.J. with 13 points in the first half. Got two free throws here. Rims in and out, no good. He'll have another one. Coming in will be Dylan Hook. Hook will come in and he'll replace Carson Pollock. Tri-County leads Pioneer 32-26 into the third quarter. Pioneer actually has a game tomorrow night. Wow. They play West Central tomorrow at home in Royal Center. Free throw on the way for Kelly is good over the front of the iron. 14 points now for Kelly. He averages 17. Pressure put on in the backcourt. Bowers has it to Kaiser. Kaiser. To Bowers, they get it across the timeline quickly. Double team. Bowers has it. In trouble. Now gets it to Kaiser. To Hook down low. Hook in the paint. Loses it. Bowers picks it up. Head fakes. Gets the ball off his feet, but can't do anything with it. Down to Prater off the glass. No good. And a rebound quickly ahead to Reeser. And if you cut from the weak side, you should get an open shot. Ball to the into the paint. Goes up. No good. Dylan Hook trying to get the charge. No call. And Tanner Reiners with the rebound. He gives it up to Kaiser. Kaiser has it knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester right in front of the Zebra bench. Ooh, you see a Zebra player pause with the ball along the sidelines, yeah. and you hold your breath if you're rooting for Rochester. That's 49-38. 11-point Zebra lead with 526. Here's down low Prater. Reverse layup up and good. <laughs> Owen Prater now in double digits with 11. 51-38. Here's a... Pass by Prater, and it's going to go out of bounds. And it'll be touched by Prater, so it'll stay with McConaughey. Coach Burris going to his bench, and Miller will come in, and Reeser will sit down. Funny Kyle to inbound. He'll get it into A.J. Kelly with 5.13 to go here in the third. Kelly. Zebras now look like they're in a 2-3 zone. Here is the down low to Kyle. Kyle then. Against Prater. Now they bring it back up top to Miller. Miller has it, picks up his dribble. Now to A.J. Kelly on the far left side. Kelly has it top of the key. Now back to Miller. Under five to go in the third. Josiah Ball kind of flashing that middle post. Tanner Reinert's giving the 
giving him some problems there. Now they kick it back out. Here's Miller, three on the way. Off the front of the iron, no good. But a rebound to Kelly. Or excuse me, that was Fuddy Kyle and a foul coming. No, that was a bad break. And Ball picks up the rebound, counts the basket. And Reinerts will pick up his third. And Josiah Ball will go to the free throw line. So 4.38 to go. It's an opportunity here to get it down to 10 with Josiah Ball's free throw. You don't like the ball being deflected to the state's leading scorer in the no. lane. And he gets not, the free throw. Usually not a good thing. Four and a half to go here in the third. 10-point zebra lead. Prater to Reinerts to Kaiser. Kaiser on the far side. Has it knocked loose. The ball is still loose and on the floor. And we're going to have... Jump ball, possession, Zebras. Good quick hands by Zeiser. Ten-point lead for Rochester. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here this evening. It's been a dandy as Grant Clark will check back in. At the end of the third quarter in Peru, Wabash leads 44-41. Let's talk swimming, Randy. Jacob, Jake Seifer finishes 30th place at the state finals, 501-25 in the 500 freestyle. Congratulations, Jim. Yeah, just, just making it is awesome, you yeah, know? Yeah, absolutely. Seat of 30th and finish 30th. Here's Dylan Hook with the basketball. Down low to Clark. He loses it. Clark picks it back up. Now he's double teamed, takes a dribble, gets it out to Bowers. Now to Prater. He'll fire a three. Good for Prater. Owen Prater. He's got five and a quarter himself, 54-41. Kelly fakes a three, gives it up. Here's a three on the way by McConaughey. No good. Rebounds fought for. Hook comes away with it. Dylan Hook now to Bowers. And a quick foul coming on Fuddy Kyle. And that's going to be Fuddy's fourth. Team third. And that will bring back in number 35, Reeser. You know, it Hook got the rebound, but that was a great box out by Owen Prater. Yeah. He, he held that McConaughey player in his hip for a couple seconds. Bowers gets it into Prater. Prater over the top to Reinerts. Oh. Reinerts has it. Reinerts. Spin move from behind. Gets it ahead to Prater. Prater to Clark. Left hand layup. Misses it. Rebound. Here's Ball. Josiah Ball quickly down the floor. Josiah into the paint. Throws up a runner. Gets the roll. Zebras did all they could to get back and try to slow him down. Prater gets it into Bowers. Three and a half to go. Quickly ahead to Clark. Clark gives it to Hook. Hook, head fakes. Still blocked by Zeiser. Zeiser has it on the other end. Zeiser has it blocked. Ahead to Prater. Prater will go up. And no good. Clark rebound back up. No good. Owen Prater battles for the rebound and a That's foul coming on McConaughey. Owen Prater just taking over this game. He makes a great pass and then he just follows the play and gets an offensive rebound and gets fouled. Zeiser, he's going to pick up his first, team fourth, and Prater will be to the line to shoot two. 14 points so far tonight for Owen Prater. Owen will have two free throws here with 3.10 to go in the third. First one's on the way, good. And Kaiser will come in. Reinerts will get a breather. 3-10 to go in the third. 55-43. Zebra's up by 12. Owen Prater with a second free throw. Prater takes his time. And that one's good again. 56-43. Here is McConaughey with the basketball. On the far side, A.J. Kelly. Jump pass over to Ball. Ball has it right side. Ball then double team, gives it back to Kelly. Kelly has it. Now they bring it over to Reeser. Reeser into Zeiser. Back to Reeser. He'll fire a three from the right side. No good. And a rebound, Bowers. Bowers quickly ahead to Clark. Grant Clark with the basketball. Throws it ahead to Kaiser. Kaiser up and good. What a pass by Grant Clark. And Kaiser able to do it, catch it, turn around and lay up the layup. Boy, Jonas Kaiser, that... That's not easy, what he just did. Knocked out of bounds by Bowers. It'll stay. Because he had to lay it up with a left yeah. hand on the right side of the backboard. Looking the other way. And, and I mean, just catching the ball uh, was impressive. Drew Bowers will get a quick breather. Carson Pollock in. And coming back in, Fuddy Kyle with four fouls. Again, and Dil sitting down is Miller. Dylan Hook's length on the top of that zone is a real factor. 
Here is Kelly with it. Gives it up to Kyle. Buddy Kyle, jump pass out to Ball. Left side, three for Ball. Air ball, rebound to Makataqua, up and good for Fuddy Kyle. 58-45. Kaiser has it. Kaiser gets it across to Hook. Hook in front of the Zebra bench. Takes a dribble, gives it up to Clark. Clark now will bring it back up top. Gives it off to Owen Prater. Prater with the basketball. Prater fights for the, re- for the ball, and ball... Steps out of bounds, but I think they're going to get Owen Prater with a foul. And that is four on Owen. They're going to get a holding foul. Prater, his fourth. Team fourth. And Prater will come out. Drew Bowers will come back in. Minute 56. Minute 57, excuse me, in the third. Here's Zebras again in that 2-3 zone. 58-45, Zebras lead by 13. Ball with the basketball up top. Now to A.J. Kelly. Kelly with it, dribbles over, pass to Ball. Ball on the left side. Goes over the top, here's Zeiser. Two ball for him is good. A little 15-foot jumper, 58-47. Clark has it. Clark gives it up to Bowers. He'll get it across the timeline. Drew into the paint. Drew picks up his dribble. Now to Clark. They swing it to Kaiser. Kaiser, left side. Kaiser, double teamed. Has it knocked loose by A.J. Kelly. And it'll stay with the Zebras here on the near side. Riders will come back in. Carson Pollock will sit down. Minute 21 here in the third. Kaiser looking to inbound. And we got a whistle. We're going to bring in Jack Reffitt. Reffitt will come in for Kaiser. He'll sit down for a breather. I'll be curious to see if Coach Malco wants to give Drew Bowers a rest here at some point. Well, because playing did for this, about 30 seconds. Yeah, playing this style. Uh, yeah. Bowers now has it. Bowers to Clark at the volleyball line. Clark dribbles in, down low to Reffitt. Reffitt gets him off his feet. Now he kicks it back out for a three for Bowers. Good. Drew Bowers with three more. 61-47. Here's Josiah Ball from the elbow. No good. Reiners with the rebound. Quickly ahead to Bowers. To Clark. Oh, Clark way up, up. No good for the foul coming. What a pass by the Zebras. Drew Bowers. And Oakley Reese are going to be calling for his third. Team number five, and Grant Clark going to the line to shoot two. I mean, that's a five-star pass by Drew Bowers. No look, and it had to be on a, on a dime to get there. Zebras with a free throw on the way. Clark makes it. Apologize for that technical difficulty there on Giant FM. 56 seconds to go. Clark misses the first free throw. Clark missed the first free throw. 61-47. Free throw on the way. And good for Clark. And Kaiser will come back in. 62 56.2 seconds to go here in the third. And Reinhardt will sit down for a breather. Zebra's in the 2 3. It's Hook and Bowers up top. Kaiser, Clark, and Reffitt across the bottom in the 2 3. And again, one of the big headlines the team that leads the state in scoring has not made a 3 yet in this game. Here is Fuddy Kyle with it. Now to Ball. Ball in the corner. Gives it to Zeiser. Back up top to Kelly. Ooh, dangerous pass. Kelly has it. Now over to Fuddy Kyle. He'll dribble in, kick it out to Josiah. In at the free throw line, short. And a rebound's tipped around, and somehow Zeiser comes away with it. He'll throw up a shot, no good, but a foul coming. That ball kind of took a funky bounce off the rim on the shot by Josiah Ball. Rochester foul number 32, Grant Clark. 32, Grant Clark picking up his third. And shooting two will be Zeiser. Zeiser will shoot two after the first one. Tanner Reinerts will come back in. Zeiser's free throw, no good. Reinerts comes in and Reffitt will sit down. Jack did a nice job while he was in there. That, it was funny, he was underneath the basket. Everybody in the gym wanted him to shoot, try a yeah. layup, but he, he knew exactly what he was doing. He kicked out to Bowers and Bowers wound up drilling a three. Zeiser's second free throw, good. 62-48, pressure put on in the backcourt. Kaiser with the basketball. Kaiser to Reinerts. Reinerts gets it ahead to Bowers. Bowers will dribble back to the middle of the floor. Leaves it for Hook. Hook kicks it over to Kaiser. Good. Jonas Kaiser with a little 10-foot jumper. 
64-48, 15 Boy, we seconds. we have really seen Jonas Kaiser grow up. Leaner in by ball, no good, and unfortunately it comes off the foot of Jonas Kaiser. It'll be McConaughey basketball. And 11.2 seconds to go here in the third. Zebras lead 64-48. Again, let's see what kind of cross screen play they have. Nope, they went right to Zeiser. Shot for Zeiser is good on the inbound pass. 64-50. Here's Clark to Hook. Hook at the buzzer up. No good. It's going to be blocked out of bounds. And with .4 seconds to go, the Zebras will have it. Or excuse me, .9 seconds. Chance for a catch it's got to be a tip. No, chance for a catch and shoot. With .9, if it's .3 or less, it has to be a tip. But .9, you have a chance to catch and shoot. They're going to look to get it in. Ahead to Kaiser. Kaiser with the shot at the buzzer. No good. Good looking shot. 64-50. Zebras lead by 14 here at the end of the third quarter. Back with more from Rochester High School. Giant FM and RTC TV4. So here is McConaughey with the basketball. McConaughey has it. That's A.J. Kelly. Kelly gets it in. Now knocked out of bounds by Rochester. It'll stay. Uh, Reeser had it knocked out of bounds by Kaiser. It'll be underneath the basket. Footy Kyle will inbound. Bowers, Hook, Reinerts, Kaiser, and Clark on the floor for Rochester. Tri-County beats Pioneer 52-32. to Tip by Kaiser. Picked up by Clark on the inbounds pass. Ahead to Reinerts. Tanner Reinerts with the basketball. Fakes a three, and then he's going to be knocked down. And Oakley Reeser will pick up his fourth foul, team first to the quarter. Well, there was no, there was no Reimer Reeser for that. Wrong place, wrong time. Still got 7.40 to go in the game. Uh, right? I, I know. <laughs> and we got a whole post game. <laughs> 64-50, still our score here at Rochester High School. Kaiser gets it into Reinerts. Reinerts head fakes, goes to the hole, throws up a running shot, good. Tanner Reinerts with his first points of the half, 66-50. Here's a three on the other end, and that's good for Reeser. Reeser with his first points, and it's a three from the wing. Reeser not known for his scoring. Bowers is double teamed, he gets it across to Kaiser, he'll get it across the timeline. Kaiser has the basketball, Kaiser. Throws it up in the air, and it's going to be stolen. Here's Josiah Ball. Ball down low, and Kaiser is going to make him go to the free throw line and earn those two points as Josiah Ball to the line to shoot two. Kaiser. Rochester foul number 30, Jonas Kaiser. Kaiser's third. Team first to the quarter. Ball will shoot. And now we have, I'm not sure what's, oh, they said there's some sweat down on the other end. So we're gonna wipe that up. Probably where Tanner fell down after he shot, he tripped over uh, Clark's feet, I think. 66-53, 7.09 here to go in the fourth. Again, both teams getting ready for sectionals next week. Rochester on Tuesday night against Wabash. McConaughey will play Wednesday night at Mississippi. I believe it's the first game. Ball misses the free throw. Pollock misses, uh, or Pollock in, excuse me. Kaiser sits down. Ball with the second free throw on the way. Free throw, missed again. Rebound to McConaughey. Ball gets it back up. No good short. Ball gets his own rebound, and he's going to be fouled. He'll go back to the line to shoot two more. Rochester foul number 32, Grant Clark. Grant Clark picks up his fourth. You know, we talked about Grant Clark Tuesday night, and uh, he has really stepped up his game here against the big boys of McConaughey. Right, the game's not too fast for him. And if the game's not too fast for you when you play McConaughey, then it's, not, it's <laughs> never going to be too fast. Ball's first free throw is finally good. Josiah Ball is missing a lot of shots short, and I don't know if he's... Kaiser back in. Clark will sit down with four fouls. When a guy misses a lot of shots short, you wonder if he's fatigued or injured. But he is... Free throw good this time. Two for two on that trip. And it's 66-55. Here's Rochester. 
Reinerts loses it. Picked up. Now stolen by Bowers. Down low to Hook. Hook up off the glass. Good. Dylan Hook with his first two in the second half. 68-55. Ball with the basketball. Now to Kyle. To A.J. Kelly on the right wing. Or left wing. Oh, back over to Ball. Ball has it. Ball looking to go to the paint. Spin move. Up and good and a foul. There's nothing you can do to stop that. And that foul whistled against Rochester. And Carson Pollock picks up his second. Josiah Ball has one free throw coming to cut it back to 10. 68-57 and free throw's good. 68-58. 10 point zebra lead with six and a half to go here in the fourth. Bowers has it, gets it up to Pollock. So Tanner Reinert's three right wing off the mark, no good. Battle rebound, Pollock up and good to foul. Carson Pollock, his first points of the night. And they come on a big offensive rebound. And that's on Reeser. And Reeser will foul out with three points. It's a 60 second timeout for Rochester. 6.25 to go. 70, 58, Zebras lead, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School, scoring update from uh, Peru High School, Wabash, Peru. Peru leads with up one with 16 seconds left in that one. So a dandy ball game uh, down at Peru High School. We've got ourselves a great one here for Zebra fans, 70, 58. They lead with 6.25 to go. Carson Pollock. Gets his first points of the game, and he chooses to do it at a big point here. As Reeser fouls out, coming back into the contest is Caden Miller for him. So Pollock will complete the three-point play here with a free throw. 70-58. He will complete the three-point play with the free yes, throw? Okay. he will. I have faith in him. The announcer's blessing, not the announcer's curse. That's right. Total faith. See? See how it works? 71-58. Zebra's a little token pressure here. Now they give it up to A.J. Kelly, and P Carson Pollock runs into Kelly, and Carson will pick up his third, team third. 71-58, 6 to go. You basically have to call that. Yeah. Because the guy is right straddling yeah. out of bounds. When you run into him in front of the official, it's going to be called. Here's Kelly with the basketball. A.J. loses it, picks back up. Now stolen by Bowers. Bowers with the steal. To Kaiser down low, good to foul! What a pass by Bowers. And A.J. Kelly gonna pick up his third. Team second. Eight seconds left. Uh, it's a 62nd timeout for McConaughey. We'll come back. With 6.08 to go, 73-58, Zebras on top, Giant FM. Here at Rochester High School, McConaughey calls a timeout. With 6.08 to go, 73-58, Zebras on top. At Peru with eight seconds left, Peru basketball, they trail by two, 57-55. And Kaiser will be at the free throw line after the made layup. And that started with a tremendous defensive play by Dylan Hook. Yeah. He was the one who got the hand on the ball at midcourt and tipped it over to Bowers who had it to Jonas Kaiser. And Bowers does what he does with a great look. Pass to Kaiser with a great finish. So Kaiser going to the free throw line to complete the three point play. Rochester nine to eight so far this quarter. Free throw on the way for Jonas Kaiser. Kaiser rims it out, no good. 13 points right now for Kaiser. Josiah Ball with the basketball. Ball brings it across the timeline. Ball looking down low, he finds A.J. Kelly, goes up, tip, no good, but a foul coming. And is that gonna be on Kaiser? And that puts I believe it on is. the bonus. Kaiser picks up his fourth, team fifth. Now Kelly at the line of shot. You thought we shot a lot of the first half. We still got six minutes to go, and we're going to have a lot of free throws in this half as well. A.J. Kelly's first free throw is good. He'll have one more. And if you're Coach Malco, 
Do you leave Kaiser in? Also, when do you bring back Owen Prater? And a free throw good by Kelly. Both of them are. 73-60. Here's Reinerts with the basketball. Reinerts to Hook. Hook has it to Bowers. Bowers kicks it out to Jonas Kaiser. Kaiser dribbles in to Bowers. Bowers, top of the key, down low to Car Carson Pollock. Up, good, no good. That rolled out. Man, I thought that was down, and Zeiser going to pick up a foul. Carson Pollock back to the free throw line. So everybody's shooting free throws the rest of the way because that was the last foul McConaughey had. So free throws for the remaining 543 for both teams. Pollock to the free throw line. And... We're going to wave it off. They wave it. We get a whistle. And the official's talking to Miller. He'd already released the ball. The officials are talking. They're going to count the free throw for Pollock. All right, good job. Officials talked it over. Appreciate that. Pollock made the free throw. and That it, was weird. It just looked like the official was kind of having a chat with the... Well, I think Miller stop, was talking. Yeah, to stop the, the talking. Yeah. But right in the middle of the guy's free throw. And Pollock with it. Carson's like, hey, I'm shooting here. 15-point lead for Rochester. Here's A.J. Kelly. Blocked. Picked up by Tanner Reinerts. Reinerts with the basketball. Now going to be knocked out of bounds by A.J. Kelly. Tanner Reiners with a block and a rebound. And, yeah, and a comment to, to Kelly on the way by. 75-65 and, and a half to go. And then Kelly looked at the ref said, if you're going to warn our guy, why don't you warn him? Bowers throws it over to Pollock. Pollock has the basketball. Now to Reinerts. Reinerts at the elbow. Back to Pollock. He'll drive in. Pollock falls down and travels. Didn't get rid of it in time. And a turnover on Rochester. The right idea. Reinerts was wide open. Miller will look inbound. They get it to Kelly. Zebra's putting 1-2-1-1 one, one, one on. Diamond Press put now over to Fuddy Kyle. Kyle loses it. Picked up by Reinerts. Ahead to Bowers. Bowers against Kelly. Layup up. Good. 77-60. On the other end, and it's going to be knocked loose. Kelly loses it, but Dylan Hook, last touch that the official says. It'll be out of bounds to McConaughey. And again, it's interesting that Josiah Ball's playing way back in the front court. He's not he hasn't really been even touching the ball the last couple of possessions. Here's Zeiser for two. Foot was on the line, gets his own rebound, kicks it out to Ball. Ball up top, deep three, top of the key, air balls it, and it's out of bounds. Foot was on the line, turnover. Goes back to the Zebras. It's been a strange night for Josiah Ball. It he has just been. has not been able to get his legs into his shot, and I don't know if he's hurting. Or what it what that is that's been, but Zebras won a 32nd timeout with 4.55 to go. 77-60. Zebras lead. So the Zebras will have it. And I would imagine Coach Wright will be uh, sending a nice Christmas card <laughs> to Coach Benedict over at Whitco for So Bowers will inbound it after the 32nd timeout by Rochester. I remember the last time Rochester scored 80 in back-to-back -back games. I would imagine it would be the 09 season, but it might not have even been then. They get it to Hook. Hook gets it back to Bowers, ahead to Reinerts. Reinerts to Hook, cutting the lane. Hook, head fakes, gets it out to Pollock, back up top to Bowers. Swings it to Pollock, or excuse me, to Reinerts. Reinerts back to Bowers. Bowers double team. he'll dribble around. Now he'll pick it up, he's gonna have to hurry. He steps through and throws it over to Hook. Hook to Reinerts, head fake. Three on the way for Tanner, off the mark, no good. Hook with a rebound. Hook, triple team, gives it to Reinerts, up off the glass, no good, but a foul coming. Zebras to the free throw line. 45, Caden Miller picks up his third, and Tanner Reinerts out of the line to shoot two. Reinerts has 10 points on the night, eight of those in the first half. Free throw for Tanner. Again, I still think the turning point for Tanner's season was that Logansport game. And got the roll. Tanner with another free throw coming. And I remember there was a long chat between Coach Malco and, again, Tanner did not play well in that yeah. game. And Rochester lost that game. And there was a long chat between Tanner and Coach Malco afterwards. And 
just the confidence he's playing with. He kind of oozes confidence now. 78-60, free throw, no good. Rebound comes away to Ball. Ball with the basketball in the backcourt. Ball brings it across the timeline. Spin move, now gives it up to Zeiser. Here's Kelly, three from the corner. In and out, no good. Rebound fought for. Kyle comes away with it, loses it. Picked up by Miller. Miller gives it to Ball. Left side. Ball, he'll fire a deep three. Got it. Josiah Ball's first three of the night. And it's 78-63. Timeout, McConaughey. It's a 30-second timeout. And I'll remind you about Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance, Insurance Bonds and Wealth Management, Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester. Go on, go. Again, we're still looking for the. 50 Here in this fourth Again, quarter, is Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Zebras back in action nine in the sectional five. on Tuesday night. Take on Coach Wright and the Apaches. Again, in, uh, on January 23rd and 27th of 2009, Rochester scored 85 against Manchester and 86 against LaVille. So that's the last time they scored 80 in back-to-back -back games. They're two points away from doing that. So the inbound will be Rochester inbounding. Bowers gets it into Prater. Prater checks in during that timeout. Here is Bowers. Bowers with it. Bowers to Prater. Prater. I get it across the timeline. Ooh, and about Bowers. 9.7 uh, seconds. Yes, yeah, just barely. Here's Pollock. Three ball for Carson. Off the mark. No good. And Josiah Ball with a rebound. Eight rebounds for Ball. Ball looks to push. Ball in the paint. Layup up and good. Josiah Ball trying to bring the McConaughey Braves back. 78-65. Prater has it. Prater double team. Prater going to have to get rid of it. Does to Reinerts. Reinerts into the free throw line. Gives it off to Bowers. Bowers into the paint. Left hand layup up and good. Tough shot for Drew Bowers. Here's Josiah Ball on the other end. Ball, Ball gambled, couldn't 15 get the steal. No good. Tanner Reinerts with a quick rebound. Ahead to Bowers. Drew with the basketball to Reinert, or excuse me, to Prater, to Clark. Pollock. Pollock probably could have got a foul, but they didn't call it. Now they swing it to Reinert. Reinert fakes the three, gives it up to Carson, left side. Carson dribbles into the free throw lane, kicks it back out. Every shot needs to be in the paint from here on in. Down low to Prater, he brings out the hook. Zebra's going to try to run some time here. We'll see what McConaughey chooses to do. Hook with the basketball, now to Pollock, to Bowers, down low to Prater. Prater goes to the hole. Prater head fakes, gets him up, and a foul coming. Owen Prater going to the free throw line to shoot two. <laughs> foul is going to be whistled against Zeiser. Zeiser picks up his third. Owen Prater to the line to shoot two. Sixteen points tonight for Owen Prater. Prater free throw, good, he's got 17. Miller will sit down and coming in will be number 11, Burner. Burner back in. 17 for Prater, he'll have another free throw on the way. 81-65, Zebras. Prater takes his time. Two and a half to go. Free throw, Owen Prater off the back iron. Dylan Hook with a rebound. Dylan Hook kicks it back out to Pollock. Now to Prater, top the key to Bowers. Bowers then is going to be fouled, and that's going to be on Freddy Kyle, and he just fouled out. <laughs> Freddy Kyle fouls out with four points on the night. So, Coach. Burris going a little deeper in his bench than he's used to as number 14, Caden Richards, will have to come in. 2.26 to go. And we have a timeout. It's like some water on the floor on the sideline. So free throws will be for Drew Bowers. Bowers with an opportunity at the free throw line. 
18 for Bowers. Hard off the back of the iron. Another one coming. Bowers will have one more. Bowers' second one's good this time. 81-65, or 82-65, my apologies. Here is three on the way for Zeiser. In and out, no good. Reinerts with a quick rebound. Reinerts down the sideline, ahead to Hook. Hook kicks it back out to Pollock, brings it back out to Bowers. Zubers will make the fouls coming, and that one's going to be tipped, but picked up by Dylan Hook. Great idea, great job by Dylan Hook to see the loose ball. To Pollock with exactly two minutes to go. Now Reinerts. Reinerts is going to be fouled. And will they get Kelly or will they get Burner? We'll wait and see. Both of them were there. And it's going to be on Burner. Raxton Burner picks up his first. Tanner Reinerts to the free throw line. Reinerts with 11. Boy, it seemed like that Lewis Cass game when Coach Malco was talking about lack of energy. That seems like a long, long time ago. <laughs> it does. Sure does. Under the, two. The only way you can beat McConaughey is with energy. Coach Malco said in the pregame he didn't know what this game would look like. He said you could see a lot of points put up. I don't think he thought the Zebras would be putting 80-plus. Reinerts. Free throw on the way. Good again. Total team effort here tonight. The Zebra's up 84-65. Here's ball for three left side. Another air ball. Tanner Reinerts with the rebound. Ahead to Hook. Hook has it. Hook will bring it back out, and Hook's going to be fouled. And tempers are flaring as Hook got it hit in the chops. And now a foul will be called, and that's going to be on Burner. Oh, 12, they call it on Ziner. That's his fourth. And now Dylan Hook to the free throw line to shoot two. Hook has nine points on the night. Minute 45. There's a lot of basketball left in this one. <laughs> Hook will get two free throws. Free throw and on the way for Hook is back the iron, no good. All five zebras come together. Encourage Dylan for this one. Going to knock, looking to knock this one down. Free throw is good for Hook. Dylan Hook makes it 85-65. Ball down the line, up and uh, good and a foul. Josiah Ball somehow, what looks like a extra step or two. And Prater just fouled out. Owen Prater on the night. 17 points for Owen Prater. Kaiser comes in for him and Owen Prater getting the crowd wound up here. Eighty-five, sixty-seven. Josiah Ball's free throw is good. Eighty-five, sixty-eight. Full court pressure put on. Here's a stolen by Zeiser. Zeiser shot up, no good. Rebound fought for. Hook comes away with it. Hook's going to be fouled by AJ Kelly. And that's going to be AJ's fourth. We'll go to the other end and shoot free throws. Another big rebound by. Dylan Hook. I mean, Dylan has just been everywhere in this half. Dylan has played well tonight. Of course, all the Zebras have because to beat a McConaughey team like this, it takes total team effort. I'm curious to see if Coach Burris keeps Josiah Ball out there for the last 131. Free throw good for a hook. Dylan with another free throw coming. Free throw is good for hook. 87, 68, Kelly for three, deep on the way, no good. Bowers with the sky and rebound. Bowers gives it up to Kaiser, ahead to Reinerts. Reinerts will dribble it back out and force McConaughey to chase. To hook in the corner, 
Hook, cross court over to Reinerts. 68 seconds to go. To Pollock, Pollock, double team. He'll give it to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball to Hook, to Kaiser. Kaiser will go to the hole and gonna be whistled for a travel. Kaiser with a travel turnover. 56 and a half seconds to go. Zebras will win this one. Turnover number 18. Josiah Ball running layup up and good. That's a tough 87 shot. 87-70. Ahead to hook. 40 seconds to go. Over the top. Reinerts with it. Reinerts back to Bowers. Bowers will hold. Bowers couple of dribble now off to Pollock. 28 seconds. Kaiser back to Bowers to hook top of the key. Bowers has it and the Rochester fans are on their feet. Huge win for the Zebras to finalize the regular season. And the Zebras will finish above 500 in TRC play at five and four. Into the corner to Kaiser. Kaiser will hold it, give it up to Hook, and that will do it. Your final, 87-70 on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. The Rochester Zebras defeat the McConaughey Braves here at Rochester High School on the final regular season of the night, of the season here. 87-70 on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard as the Rochester Zebra fans showing their appreciation for what a hard effort by the Zebras here tonight. When we come back, the post game brought to you by Perkins and Adley, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the final tonight, 87-70. Rochester defeats McConaughey. Back with more from Rochester High School. Giant FM and RTC TV4.